as you can see, this is not going to be a very subtle episode. Shoot, I'm so late. The Duchess is gonna kill me. Rose? Why are you dressed like a bunny? And who's the Duchess? Oh no, wait, that's just a nickname for your mom. Why are you dressed like a bunny? I gotta go now. Uh, Mr. Rabbit, wait, please. Violet, what is going? Is there a cosplay memo that I missed or something? Mermaid. Lily will do. Can you help me? Certainly. I've never met a mermaid before. But a lot of strange things have been happening to me today. I wonder if I've been switched in the night. I don't think I'm Ada because her hair goes in long curls and mine doesn't go in curls at all. But I can't be Mabel because I know all sorts of things and she knows very little. And anyway, you're you and she's her. No, that's confusing, isn't it? Here I know how doth a little and Mabel doesn't, so... How doth a little crocodile and prove his shining tail and pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. How cheerfully he seems to grin, how neatly spread his claws, and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws. No, that's not right. And who's be Mabel after all? Hey, personally I liked your version better. Ah, it's you! I'm Tweedledee. And I'm Tweedledum. And I'm Tweedle Out. What's wrong? They seem perfectly nice. No, I got roped into babysitting them once and it was a nightmare. Of course, then after that I had an actual nightmare because Inquisition gives me bad Oh my god, I've lost Inquisition! Wait, this is a dream? So he's not here. Never mind! Have you seen a white rabbit run through here? We're going about this all wrong. First we need to introduce ourselves. We already did, so now you should. I'm Lily, she's Valis. Lily, Valis, pleasure. Have either of you seen the white rabbit? I'm curious to see where he's going. She's curious, Bales. The oysters were curious too. Poor, Poor things. things. What do you mean? What happened to the oysters? Sit down and we'll tell you. Are you gonna listen to the story? I have to go do something. Besides, I already know what happens. The oysters get eaten in the end. Um, spoiler alert much?
monsters growing in my house. I didn't even get my gloves and fan. Whatever am I supposed to do? Rose. What? Who's Rose? I didn't call you Rose. You're obviously the white rabbit. Mary Ann, wherever have you been? Thanks to you, my house is infested with giants. And don't even get me started on what happened to Bill. Poor Bill. Go back and clean the cottage now. Do all girls look the same to you? Oh, Katie, you're the Cheshire Cat. That I am. What brings you through here? Well, that ghost girl that I keep seeing gave me a sword and some vague prophetic advice, but I'm looking for Alice. Did she pass through here? Alice. Black hair, apron. Hoping to find a rabbit of some kind? Yeah, the white rabbit. Do you know where she went? Well, she asked me what was a good place to go, and I said in that direction lives a Mad Hatter, and in that direction lives a March Hare. So, she went to visit the hare, thinking he'd be normal. But, to tell you the truth, they're both equally mad. Yeah, well, that's one of the main differences between Alice and me. I'd be happy to talk with crazy people since I kind of am one. I think it's silly that Alice dreamed all this up considering she's so practical. Better to go along with dreams than demand sense, since that's something that doesn't exist here. See, you get me. Oh, by the way, what happened to the baby? It turned into a pig. I thought it would. Stupidest tea party I've ever been to in my entire life. Is this cup clean? Quite, but it's very rude to sit without being invited. True, but if everybody had to wait to be invited to something, no one would get anything done. Well, you seem smart. The last girl couldn't get this one, so why is a raven like a writing desk? I would make a joke about your name in that riddle, but since you're the March Hare now, I'll just say that they both came from trees. Whoa, I just solved Lewis Carroll's insolvable riddle. Where's the Dormouse? In the teapot. He's a real mouse. So, by the way, have either of you seen a ghost girl? Depends. Is she wearing a white dress? That's the one. She wanders around here sometimes. I'm not sure if she's supposed to exist in this world, but she was able to hook into some of your other dreams. Wait, this is my dream? I thought it was Alice's. Well, it'd certainly be terrible if it was, because then, when she woke up, poof, you'd vanish because you never existed outside of someone's imagination. Will I be committing mass murder by waking up? Well, if this is your dream, then yes. But who knows? Maybe it was Alice's. So you're telling me that it's possible that I don't exist outside of someone else's imagination? Well, it would be best for you to catch up with Alice just in case. She went that way. way. Uh oh. I am the Jabberwock. Who dares trespass? Oh great! I have to kill you now. Well, that is how the poem goes. It's fine. I'll come back to life every time a new copy of Through the Looking Glass is published. Okay. Wait, every other character's already somebody I know. Except that ghost girl, but she wasn't in the book. Who are you supposed to be? Nightshade. Go figure. Oh, good. You've slain the Jabberwock. Prop just day, clue clay, all that. Now, come on. Alice won't shut up about you, and it's making the queen very angry. Oh, white roses painted red. Rose, the white rabbit. The trial is being held inside. Okay. So who will the queen of hearts be? I mean, we have Rose's mom, Rose's aunt, Charles Wesseltour. Although, I don't know why he'd be the queen. Nightshade, wait, no, she was the Jabberwock. Well, as long as it's not snitty brats. More on the court. All right, the name of heart stole some parts from the queen. The accusation is in this poem. You there, state your business. Unless you're here to bring me more makeup or more tarts. 
That's Lily, your majesty. She's a mermaid. Where did you come from? Oh, so you're that girl who, like, killed the Jabberwock. Frabjusty is a lot less Frabjus than I thought it would be. And anyway, this trial is completely pointless. The tarts are right there! How do you know those are my tarts? Because they're shaped like hearts. Well, so they are. So the knave did steal them? Off with his head! There's no proof of that. Why would the knave go to all the trouble to steal the tarts and then just bring them here? Well, what do you know about this crime? Nothing whatever. Nothing whatever? Nothing whatever! That's very important. Jury, write it down. Oh, come on. You guys never do anything. Wait a minute. Which one of you thought of this? Whose dream is it? Uh, I don't know. So how are you getting on? Not at all. Did this episode have any point to it? Nope. Happy Halloween, folks.